Are you ready? Because it's time for the moment of um. This is where we answer the questions that make us go. This moment of um is brought to you by the Brains On podcast. I'm Molly Bloom. You all have so many excellent questions that you send our way, like this one. Hi, my name is Amadine, and I live in Yellow Springs, Ohio. And my question is, how do snakes smell? Now, Amandine is asking about how snakes sense odors, not what we think snakes smell like. But did you know some people say copperhead snakes smell like cucumbers? Well, even though some people say that, experts say that there's no evidence to back that up. So, sadly, no salad-smelling snakes seen. But we did find an expert who has lots of facts about how it is that snakes sense smells. Uh, My name's Carol Spencer, and I'm a staff curator of herpetology at the University of California at Berkeley at the Museum of Vertebrate Zoology. Herpetology is a study of amphibians and reptiles, and I take care of the specimens we have here in the museum. Snakes are actually great at smelling in a couple different ways. And the, they smell still with their nose, but the way they smell with their tongues is they have an organ in their mouth, and so they can pick up something with their tongue, either chemicals or little pieces of something that are floating around in the air on the tips of their tongue. And then it goes into the top of the roof of the mouth and actually touches this organ called the femoral nasal organ, and they are able to sense both sort of taste and smell using this organ. It's called the vomeral nasal organ because it's right by these two bones called the vomer and the nasal. Which, um, for humans, are right in the front of your face, but for a snake, it's on the top of their head. So they can sense anything, things they're trying to eat. They can sense predators, something that's trying to eat them, or they can even sense their mates. And so, and the coolest part about it to me is that because they have snakes and lizards all have forked tongues, their tongue can actually sense direction then. So they can tell if something is like in front of them or on the side or, and apparently they use this a lot more than they actually do their sense of smell. Um, um, um. My tongue is great at sniffing out the direction of the drippy side of the ice cream cone. Good job, tongue. If you have questions you'd like us to answer on Moment of Um, head to brainson.org slash contact and send them to us. And while you're there, you can listen to whole episodes of the Brains On podcast, which are chock full of answers to all kinds of questions about the world. Questions smell like strawberries, by the way. Moment of Um is produced by Tara Anderson, Molly Bloom, Rosie DuPont, Ruby Guthrie, Mark Sanchez, Catherine Sundquist, Sandin Totten, and Manika Wilhelm. We had production help from Sarah McRae and engineering help from Eric Romani and Alex Simpson. Our executive producer is Beth Perlman. The executives in charge of APM Studios are Lily Kim, Alex Shaffert, and Joanne Griffith. Special thanks to Lori Ahrens, Roland Chang, Steve Eretti, Jennifer Quinlan, and Nicole Sharp. Find out more about our show at momentofum.org. Until next time, um...